So this is the Techno Camon 20, the least in the Camon 20 series that were just launched in Nigeria. But trust me, when you consider the specifications that this phone packs and the price point at which is coming, trust me when I say this phone is not in any way the least. So in this video, we're going to be answering two questions. What is new and different from what we had last year in the Techno Camon 19? And how does it compare in terms of specifications to other phones within the price point like the Techno Spark 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 12, and also the Samsung Galaxy A14. If you want to know all of this, watch this video to the end. Hello and welcome to Mobile Tech Gist. My name is Benjamin. One of the first things I'm going to notice about this device is the textured leather-like finishing at the back that Techno calls the Magic Skin. It feels like leather when you hold the phones in your hands, and because of the flat sides of this phone, it's so comfortable to hold without you being afraid of it slipping off your hands and falling down. Another very important thing you're going to notice at the back of this phone is the big camera rings that seems to be like a signature for the Techno Camon series. We're going to talk more about the cameras and how impressive they are at the later part of this video. Something else that Techno improves on this time around is also the fingerprint sensor. For the Techno Camon 19 of last year, it was side mounted, but this time around we have it on the screen. So we have an on screen fingerprint. On the left side of the device is the SIM card tray that houses two 4G nano SIM cards and also an extra space for memory card. And since we are talking about memory, the Techno Camo 20 comes with 8 gigs of RAM that you can extend by means of memory fusion to about 16 gigs. And if you ask me, there isn't any need for you to expand the RAM because 8 gigs of RAM is enough to handle basic smartphone operations and any other thing you want to do with this phone. Now, another improvement over the Techno Camo 19 of last year is the fact that we now have stereo speakers. It sounds really good, mostly when you are playing video games on the phone, you get to really enjoy the output of the sound from this phone. We also have the Type-C charging port, the microphone, and also the 3.5 mm headphone jacks that houses the wired EFPs that comes with this phone. At the top of it, we have a complimentary speaker that doesn't really sound so loud like the one below it, but complements it pretty well. So really, in terms of the build quality and the design of this smartphone, I'm going to be giving Techno an 8 over 10 because of this textured finishing at the back that doesn't attract any form of dust and also doesn't absorb water. Because one of the first things that came to my mind when I felt this phone was if it absorbs water and honestly it doesn't. And really Techno did give so much thought and process into making this phone look beautiful on the exterior. And when you flip the phone over, you see a 6.67 inches AMOLED display with a 60 Hz refresh rate and a 1080p resolution. How much of an improvement when we compare it to the Techno Camon 19 is not so much because that one has the same 60 Hz refresh rate but an LCD display. So really it's just the AMOLED that we have this time around in terms of display. And if for any reason you're not satisfied with the color saturation that you're viewing when you turn on this phone, you can decide to go to settings, look for display, tap on color styles, and then you can tap on bright color. This will enhance the screen colors a lot better than it is when you turn the phone on. Out of the box, the Techno Camo 20 comes with Android 13 with the iOS 13 skin over it. And really, as usual from Techno, we don't have any idea if it will be able to take any other Android update apart from this 13. But really, if you want to consider other common series in the past, then we may be able to get at least one year update on this device. And really, at this point, Techno should try to always let us know information like this because sometimes it is really a deciding factor when somebody is trying to know if you should be getting this device or other device. Now, something I have always been mentioning in this video is the price point of this phone without actually mentioning the price. The unit I have here, which is the 8 gig, 256 gig version, currently goes for about 133,400. And if you're in Nigeria, I'm going to be leaving a link as to where you can get this device in the description of this video. And talking about processor, the Techno Camon 20 runs on the MediaTek Helio G85 processor, which sadly is the same processor we had with the Techno Camon 19 of last year. So really on that front, there isn't any improvement whatsoever. But really it's not a bad processor, though it's a 12 nanometer processor that is basically optimized for basic smartphone experience and light gaming. And yeah, we did download the Call of Duty Mobile on this device and we played it for about 30 minutes without having any form of lags and whatsoever. It may not be a great 
gaming device you don't expect that at that price point of about 180 dollars but what it does do for you is that at least you are able to play the game that you want Another game that we also tried on this device was the Asphalt 9 Legend, which ran very well without the phone heating up considerably and everything was just okay with the device. Now, when it comes to battery, it has a 5000mAh battery and a 33 watt charger, which is also a slight improvement. Last year, we had the 18 watt charger that is able to take this device from 0 to 100% of full charge in about an hour 20 minutes. So really at this point, considering all the specifications that this phone comes with, when we compare it with the Techno Spark 10 Pro, there isn't really much of a difference. Though in terms of processor, the Techno Spark 10 Pro is better because it runs on the MediaTek Helio G88 processor, but when it comes to display, the Camon 20 is definitely way better because it has an AMOLED display as compared to the LCD panel that we have on the Techno Spark 10 Pro. The only phone that tends to compete with the Camon 20 in terms of display has to be the Redmi Note 12, which is also at about the same price point. But definitely looking at these two devices, when it comes to design, I definitely will be giving it to the Techno Camon 20 because it just have this slightly better design than the Techno Spark 10 Pro my opinion anyway now let's talk about the cameras which for me seems to be the most impressive thing about this smartphone for its price point honestly i didn't think i would be so impressed with the pictures taken by the 64 megapixel main cameras that comes with this phone it also has an ai camera and also a 2 megapixel depth sensor pictures taken by the 64 megapixel main cameras and the ai cameras look really really vibrant and beautiful looks really impressive the colors are very much okay and the picture really pops like honestly i was really impressed as you can see in these pictures even portrait pictures on this device did not disappoint when it comes to blurring the background isolating the subject and also proper edge detection another mode that we also try out is the pro mode which we can get by swiping to the last part of the settings right when you turn on the cameras it is the best settings you want to use to take pictures on this device videos on the camon 20 can be shot at highest 2k at 30 frames per second with no form of stabilization at all even when you tow it down to 1080p at 30 frames per second you still don't get any form of ultra steady stabilization on your videos the front facing camera is a 32 megapixel sensor and that really is an improvement when you consider the fact that the techno camera 19 came with a 16 megapixel but the last time we had a 32 megapixel front facing camera was in the techno camon 18 of last two years so techno did well by bringing back the 32 megapixel front facing cameras one point of note however is that you want to make sure you turn off all the effects as you can see with the effect turned on i look so much like a doll why the second picture looks real like the real me you know that kind of thing so really you want to turn off all of those effects as it kind of like just makes it, the picture looks really unnatural hey youtube this is a video from the techno camon 20 with the HDR turned off, I can shoot at 2K and 30 frames per second. It's really not handling dynamic range very well without HDR turned on. But still, let me just know as we compare it with the next video where I will be turning on the HDR. With the HDR turned on, I'm shooting currently at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Let me know what you think when you compare it with the first video. I think it handles dynamic range better with HDR turned on. That means you have to substitute quality for if you want to get better dynamic range. Also, let me know what you think about the mic quality of this device. Thank you. So definitely, my final verdict has to be the fact that with about 133,000, you're getting a very impressive device. Apart from the processor that there isn't really any improvement compared to what we had last year, Every other aspect of this device, there seems to be just this slight improvement. And that just makes this phone a lot better when you compare it with other devices at that price point. If you want to see a more detailed comparison of the Techno Camo 20 with the Techno Spark 10 Pro or with the Redmi Note 12, let me know in the comment section below and I will get to work in providing you with that video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe so that you get to see subsequent videos like this that I will be posting. And do not forget also to hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I make a post on this channel. I'm going to see you again in my next video. Until then, stay cool. Thank you.